Hey there, everyone. This is our cow playing some Super Challenge World. That, that's pretty much it. That, that's the whole story. Yellow Palace, the Palace of the Yellow Sith. Trying to recall this level here. Giving me a lot of trouble the first time, and uh, I remember it being a puzzle level, but I don't really remember anything about the solutions, so... Here we go, I guess. I recall a shell is probably important, considering it's giving me like a billion shells there, and there's a little speaker there, it's basically confusing. Put the peebo, and it's telling me to climb a thing with a thing, well, I think that is pretty telling. Not gonna lie. Okay, well, okay, let's go on over yonder here. There's some Koopas just kind of flying. It's pretty great. Oh, yeah, I recall you need to go there, so you don't want to take that coin there, you know? That coin, not a coin you want to take. Do you agree, Mr. Koopa? You just kind of explode. That's pretty great. Okay. Okay, so here we want a silver pea. That's pretty awesome. Going on a little fence. That's pretty... That, that, that leaves me fairly neutral, you gotta be honest. So, wow, well, this, this, this thing goes right in the thing. Thing goes in the thing, I have a very complex vocabulary. Thank you very- oh, whoa, 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 sentient hole there. Captain Hole Albino, oh, I need fun, okay, so I need to get a shell up here. A shell up here, I must get, where did this poop me out? Oh, okay, it's put me right back here. Okay, so now I got Mr. Shelly to be able to block Mr. N Blocky, I guess. Knock Mr. Blocky. Why would I want to be so violent? Okay, so, that was predictable. So I got a springboard. I don't know why I want a springboard yet, but I assume it is something that is considered desirable in most North African countries. So now we're gonna get ourselves killed. That's pretty great. Uh, I guess I wanna go up there and avoid having to deal with Mr. Munchip and friends. Oh, hey, I get it. You're a little about to say body body boo, you know? I'm glad to agree, self. So, uh, something up here? Well, there's a pipe up here. Let's go in that pipe up here. The pipe up here, we're gonna go in. Okay, where are we? Where are we now? We're on the land down under. Or something. Alright, so why, why do you want me to come over here, Mr. Man? Mr. Manhattan? Okay, so there's a lot of coins here. That's... Exciting, but not very conducive to victory, no, is it good? There's nothing else, okay, so... Folding box, no, with a little thing, that's that's pretty great. I, I love to be part of the menagerie here. Okay, so we got ourselves a P-switch. <laughs> no! Oh, panic did not serve me. Alright, let's try to not fall down a donut hole this time. Wow, that sure was a difficult event! Where, where, where am I? Okay, I'm somewhere completely. Ah, I see. I'm gonna need, like, two, two chicken pox here, but... Uh, I, I forget if stuff returns. Well, I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm gonna go on the far right. There's something on the far right. Because remember, there was, like, the coin place thing. Oh, I didn't get a dragon point in here. Might as well go and get it. So, wow. Uh, gotta get all dragon coins. No, collect them all. I'm going to prize. I don't know what the prize is gonna be. It's a big old kick in the pants, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, I don't want to lose Mr. Mr. P-Switch here. This is not the time where he wants to lose him. Alright, yeah, so I can go in here. I can go in here, Goomba. How do you feel about that? Why are you going in a hole? Because I kicked you? That that, that, that is circumstantial evidence. Go away. So now we're here. We are here. Okay, so it's a bone bone place out of nowhere. Okay, well, I can deal with bones. I can play places. Uh, Combine the two together, and you do not get a giant fighting robot, so we should be in the clear. Yeah, wow, that sure was a jam. I don't know, like, something in the basement. Basement seems unfinished. Okay, so now I get this. Now I'm here. Okay, so now... Yeah, well, right, right, like, over on, on the place over there, there was things covering the pipe. Right. Oh no, wow, well, there's, like, mushrooms everywhere, so it's okay. It's only a temporary trouble. Man, I don't want to... Lose the P-switch in a stupid way, so I'm just going to press it and advance and go in the little pipe that goes in the little stone hook to go, you know, fish some stone fish. And there we go. Now we got two P-switches to go on the other side. And we're like, oh wait, how, how am I going to... Oh, I guess I'm meant to, like, carry them individually over the nettings. Yay! Oh, well, so be it. Man, I, I'm just constantly afraid of losing them, you know? If doing something stupid, like is my want, and dropping them in the hole and having to start a whole freaking loop all over again, that, that's not something very exciting. And there we go. 
Man, okay, again, I don't know if it was residual memory or what, but uh, this didn't strike me as as causing me trouble as the last time. Or maybe I was just a freaking moron. The, wait, why did I do that? I need to bounce on a guy. Oh, oh. Well, well, let's see here. Come on, this is. I'm not gonna lose like I'm just gonna kick them around. Okay, there's a guy right there. Hey there, guy. You're a guy. You're right there. Glad to bake your coins, guy. We we are now in guy space where guys can be guys. There, mushroom. How's it going? Ah, I'm just gonna let you saunter free in the hills. Why? Why? Like, like, like when you were right there in the beginning, you were like super easy to level grab, and I was like, not happening. Uh, whatever. I'm not gonna force. I'm not gonna force a hand considering I just need to bring him there. It's like that. There is a very complicated place, and here it's a speed switch palace. It was very complexly made. It's just freaking stone blocks all over the place. Honestly. Oh man, it was a mushroom here, and then the block, and now I can go lower over there. Then I'm gonna get those, and I'm gonna go to press the switch. It's gonna be like. You know, over-exaggerated motions all over the freaking place. E freaking... Ha! Wait, don't... Come on. There we go. For a while there, I was kind of getting scared, you know? Uh, fear was, hey, how, how's it going? So, the switch is all the way up there. Is there, like, a thing somewhere? Something? Oh, there we go. The thing was in the last thing, I should have guessed, but that's because that's always how it works, you know? They want to make you work here for your money, so they push you down the gutter and throw bowling balls down, and you know what you can catch in your pocket? You get a keep and soul on eBay for like 25 cents a pop, but it's worth it in the end. Because we got the yellow switch palace, yellow block exploding everywhere. We even get a VRAM save, and that's, well, that's not really that exciting. Switch is kind of weird, though, like, all lonely at the base of the mountain. Looks kind of weird. Might be, okay, well, I'm going to start this, but I don't know if I'm going to regret this and make two videos or not, but there you go. Hey there, I'm just kind of falling in a bunch of virgin, and the good thing I'm spinning, jumping. Wow, that is, like, whoops. <laughs> Uh, I hope I didn't need that because it just kind of fell through the hill there. Fell through the hill. Hill faller, as they say. Well, it's a yellow level, so I'm not too afraid. The water here is freaking dirty, but considering they left all their toxic barrels floating, like, in, in, in mid-flotation or something. I don't know how to call that. There's some water on the surface, and that is pretty great. If I had a piece which I could go up there. I could. Whoa. But I'm getting shot by a bullet instead. Freaking hidden... Off-screen brigade. That's not very nice. This is Super Mario World. Don Maku Dodger. Oh Jesus! Hell, God, and all your acolytes. What the hell are you doing here? Um, yeah, gotta. Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 That wasn't that bad at all. So now we're going down the thin little layer. Wow. You actually need for a normal exit in World One, swim un under the world. Is that truly? what we want to teach our children. Oh, I don't think I can go to get, that, get that high, so I'm not gonna get that high. I'm not gonna get high as a kite. I'm gonna get as high as a worm. That's the highest form of lower life form you can find. Something a bit misconstrued about that sentence. So we're just gonna jump over there on the lake. Man, you know, I figured this level would be a bit more, but I think that's about it. Like, like I got the dragon coin, Charlie committed suicide, uh, we get the coin instead of a life, and that's it. I was expecting a lot more. I don't know why I was expecting a lot. I was like, man, this, this is gonna be hardcore in a bunch, but no. It was just a cave with a bit of dirty water and like three signs at the end telling me to go to the right. Oh man, this is such a maze. Uh, and next time we're gonna be a castle. No castle in this game, all castles have two exits. I don't know why the grass is blue. Grass is always greener on the other side, as you can see here, but... The Eurograss is pretty blue there, Eerie Castle 1. Yeah, there's two exits. One of them probably leads to little uh, Atari joystick land there or something. I forgot. I was gonna repeat Eerie Castle 1 a whole lot. Eerie Castle 1. Eerie Castle 1. And one third time. Just so you remember, when you go to sleep tonight, you know, tucked up with your little teddy bear and uh, moist towelettes. Eerie Castle 1. This is Raoka. See you guys.